we, we have been worried about the shortage of funds, which is causing different agencies uh, to, um, to cut uh, basic rations. At the same time, uh, we have been imploring for money, and some as additional assistance has been coming in. In particular, today I can say that uh, uh, the Office of Coordination for Humanitarian Affairs Director, Rashid Kalikov, thanked the government and people of Kuwait at a ceremony in Geneva today for their sustained and generous support to humanitarian operations to support the Syrian people. Assistant Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, Kyung Wa Kang, will address a second ceremony in New York this afternoon. At the two ceremonies, seven United Nations humanitarian agencies and the International Organization for Migration will receive checks totaling $204.5 million from the government of Kuwait to support the humanitarian response to the Syria crisis. Uh, yes. Uh, in a Zaatari camp in Jordan, I mean, the, the refugees there are treated like concentration camp. They are not allowed to go anywhere. And uh, recently, in the, in the past 48 hours, there were attacks against them by the police, and uh, over 20 were injured because they were protesting that they are confined there, they cannot go anywhere, and they are not free to, to, to travel around. Well, as you know, we've been doing our best to uh, work with the government of Jordan in providing for people in Zatari. As you know, Zatari itself has been overcrowded, and what we're trying to do is, <laughs> is set up a different camp uh, nearby in Jordan. And so we're continuing with that. Regarding the latest efforts, uh, the, the UN Refugee Agency continues to monitor the conditions of people at the Zatari camp and tries to make sure that their, that their basic needs and their basic rights are respected.